face. Does this look like the face of someone who's happy? Yes, it is! Because Google finally lost in one aspect. Hello, everybody. I'm Keen 47 aka Wolf Keen, and welcome to another edition of a Wolf's Word special. Now, today on a Wolf's Word special, I decided I was going through the internet. I was, you know, going through YouTube like I normally do, eating dinner, which I still am. I haven't finished dinner yet. But, um,. I came across this video done by Review Tech USA, which I will leave a link down below to his video. He posted a video about Google Plus basically dying. Yes, guys, I'm not kidding. Google Plus is dying. All I could say is, Halla fing Luya! They finally, we finally won, basically. Because what annoyed people about Google Plus the most was that they forcefully integr integrated it into everything like oh your phone your phone has google plus integration nope you have to put it on your phone otherwise you can't use your phone oh youtube has the google plus integration you have to integrate google plus to your youtube otherwise you can't use it oh your smart tv has google plus integration you have to integrate it in order for you to use that smart tv it was like Google Plus was trying to integrate themselves into everything that they owned and it was causing a backlash between everybody including YouTubers because a lot of YouTubers did not see the benefits of you know the Google Plus integration and it's the truth like the Google Plus sorry about that I don't know what happened but the camera kind of messed up for a second but let me say this again the Google Plus integration was not all bad I mean the comment section was pretty good in some cases though it did get annoying that people were posting whole books basically like whole books the constitution and of course the revival of bob but the fact that you could have longer comments allowed people to uh basically post exactly what they wanted to post and the fact that you could post links now in the comment section that also made it easier for you to uh do videos but then you have the negatives that came out of google plus like the the takeaway of of uh damn it you know, the videos that you share, like, you know, the shared videos on, uh, video responses, there we go. Damn it, it's been so long. Like, video responses, the takeaway of video responses, the comment section still sucks. And, to be honest, the Google Plus integration was not a good idea. The reason why Google Plus integrated itself into basically everything was because they were trying to compete with social media websites like Twitter and Facebook. I mean, think about it. YouTube is the third most watched website on the internet. And Facebook and Twitter are probably some of the best social media websites out there. So Google trying to, uh, you know, beat Facebook and Twitter, instead of trying to find a way to make us want to use Google+, Plus, they forced it down our throats. They're like, oh, you don't want to use Google+, Plus? well now we're forcing you to use Google+, Plus. use Google+, Plus, or you're not going to be able to do anything. And that was just right bullcrap, because, because they did that, they ended up causing a lot of backlash. Now let me read the article down below. Let me read the article, which you can find in the link. You can find a link down below. When Vic Gundatra, the head of Google Plus, suddenly announced his departure from Google today, many were left wondering why and what it meant for the future of Google Plus. He didn't give a reason for leaving, but according to a report from TechCrunch, the likely reason is a major shakeup from Google's social net social network. What happened was, is that at one point, apparently, not everyone agreed with this. And here it is, it says right here. In short, Google seems to be backing away from the original Google Plus strategy. The report states that Google Plus will no longer be considered a product that competes with Facebook and Twitter, and that the Google's mission to force Google Plus into every product will end. With this downgrade in importance comes a downgrade in resources. TechCrunch claims that 1,000 to 1,200 employees many of which form the core of Google+, Plus, will be moved to other divisions. Google Hangouts will supposedly be moved to Android, and the Google Plus Photos team is likely to follow. Basically, talent will be shifting away from Google Plus Kingdom and towards Android as a platform, the report said. The strange part is that both of these teams create cross-platform products, so if the report is true, there will be a group inside the Android team making iOS and web apps, which doesn't seem like the best fit. So basically, um, so basically, um, that's what's happening. They're deciding to back away from this like forceful integration and stuff like that. And like I said, all I could say is hallelujah because Google trying to force Google Plus down our throats and other stuff like that, it was not going to work. 
You're ba it's like basically making a child go on a ride that he doesn't want to. It's like making a guy who has vertigo go on a roller coaster. Like, you're not going to get any respect or love from that person. You're going to get nothing but hatred. And that's what the Google Plus forceful integration did. It caused a lot of backlash between YouTubers and other people who used other products that forced Google Plus and other stuff like that. And the worst part of it all is that if you wanted to make a YouTube channel, you had to make a Google Plus account. Now that the Google Plus integration will be backing off and going away, that means we can finally start making normal YouTube channels without the integration of Google Plus. And that's going to be a good thing. And that also means I can finally unlink my YouTube channel from Google+. Because to be honest, these guys were, like, look, the Google+, Plus was not all bad. But there were way more negatives than there were positives with the Google+, Plus integration, unfortunately. This is why I say, like, it failed. Google could have made a good social media website. I'm not lying. Google could have made a good social media website if they, you know, they could have made something to compete with Facebook and Twitter. They really could have. But their problem was, was that they forced it down our throats. If they didn't force Google Plus down our throats like they did, I'm pretty sure it would have been more well received. Like, they did some advertisement. They did something that Facebook and Twitter don't do and stuff like that. But no, Google didn't do any of that and instead just forced it down our throats. Like, oh, you don't want it? Well, you're going to take it no matter what you think of it. And that just caused a lot of backlash. And the funny thing is, according to Review Tech USA, there was actually some backlash within the company itself due to this move. This Google Plus forceful integration, apparently there was some backlash within the company as well that disagreed with this but had to do it because they work for Google. This does show that there are some people out there who disagreed with this in the company. But of course the higher up said otherwise. And it says right here, like... It says right here, despite Google's denial, it makes sense for the company to back away from Google+. The social network hasn't gained the massive user base it would need to rival Facebook, and the aggressive integration strategy has been universally hated by users. As Google gets bigger and bigger, it faces harsher scrutiny, and few things that the, few things the company has done have been more disliked than Google+. According to the report, Google Plus's YouTube takeover was seen as a rocky move, even inside of the company. So there you go, guys. Now we know what's going on with Google+. Plus. Pretty much, Google+, Plus is dying. It's good to hear that. Like, it's good to hear that Google+, Plus is going to be no more, and we don't have to deal with it anymore. Because I was getting real sick and tired of the Google+, Plus integration, and I know a lot of YouTubers out there, like you guys that are watching, are like that as well. Sorry if I'm moving the camera a lot. It's not. Something is seriously long, wrong with my camera. I got to check it when I'm done with this. So anyways, guys, that's all I got to say. If you want to check out the YouTube channel that I found this out on, go ahead. There's a link down below. If you want to check out the news story that I covered, there's a link down below. So not much else for me to say, guys, but hallelujah that Google Plus is dying, and now we can finally go back to having normal YouTube channels and stuff like that. So until next time, guys, I'm Keenan 47 a.k.a. Wolfkeen, and this has been another edition of a Wolf Sword Special. So until next time, take care.